Hello everybody, wee wee, how are we all doing t <clears throat> Now it doesn't sound like it, but I absolutely stumbled over my words there. Um, hi. Peachy, how are you? I, I wouldn't recommend it. You totally could. I would not recommend it. Uh, Pika Squawks, useful. Can spend on things, does stuff. Fudge points, useless, shouldn't exist. Why does it? Bragging rights. Clown, king of clowns, leave the stage at once. Mecca, hello, we, we, how are you? Hope you're doing well. You got an ad for Google Enterprise? I don't know what that is. There's no images and spelt out Google. If, I th if I'm running a business big enough to need Google Enterprise, I think I would know how to spell Google. <gasps> what? Okay. Interesting. Um... I don't have any... Yeah, you know? <laughs> Look, today's been a day, okay? Today has been a day, and I'm not going to elaborate. Just know it's been a day. Um, but how you doing, Peachy? I'm sorry that you're trying not to die. I hope that you continue to not die, because that would be incredibly sad, and I don't need that. None of us need that. Please stay alive. Thank you. Mecca! Hope you're doing well, though. Despite the weird Google ad... There is something in my eye, and I don't know what it is. And it's not a tear, it's probably an eyelash, and it's not my eyeball. Because, I mean, okay, my eyeball is in my eye. Is it? Is the eyeball the eye... Sorry, is the eye the eyeball itself? Or is the eye the eyeball and socket? Like, what do we... What do we... Paris, hello. How are you? I see you right there. <gasps> is that the... The of light clothing? How do I examine is that the of light i can't see what it's transmogged as wait yes i can armor of light there it is it looks really cool um <clears throat> how are you doing harris i hope you're doing well stop crying then you won't have something in your eye look it's really hard for me to stop crying right now okay but enough motivation to start ripping up your carpet so now two parts of your room that are confirmed bug free. Fudge, yes, I guess. Everything but the gloves. What are the gloves? They are gloves of strife gloves. That sounds so lame, actually. Also, here's a question that I've always wondered, which is probably exceedingly obvious to everyone but me. What's the difference between the pink plus and the white plus? Because obviously the both the pluses mean they've been glamoured or transmogged to something else. But like, crying without emotion is literally how you get stuff out of your eyes. I know. Died versus default. Well, I can promise you that I've certainly not dyed my earrings, which also aren't showing up. So, maybe can't die? Yeah, look, I don't know, man. We've explained it. White plus is aware of the sins of their ancestors. Pink plus has died. 
Mecca. White plus is aware of the sins of their ancestors. Pink plus is the blood of the people who died in Danganronpa. That was a really bad joke. I'm sorry. I'm going to continue with the story and make up for my mistakes. There she is. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> Red means undiable. You're not sure. Well, I guess none of us will ever know then, ever. I say, when you didn't appear, I began to question nothing. Never mind. Oh, you're the jerk who... Put us on all these problems that we're in. Strife globs are clouds gear. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I recognize it now. I re I have I have clouds gear. I have his strife outfit. It made you laugh, so it was worth it. It was a trashy joke, and you should be ashamed of yourself for laughing. <laughs> I will blame you for laughing. How dare you, Mecca? I appreciate it. How dare you? I appreciate it. <laughs> to think that we are mere moments away from facing the cream of ales is soldier in battle. That I am, mm, but what? Oh, the melee! Right, the melee. The melee. I have to stop imagining the worst. I must think of the victory, of the glory, of the stories I'll tell Onura when he awakes. You know you can't actually help out with this, right? If you mean the plus symbols, black plus... Oh, okay, hold on, hold, hold on. We're going to use you as an example. Black plus with red border, item is glamoured into something that is not diable. Transparent with white border... Equals item is going to something that can be dyed, but it's not dyed. Filled with any color, which doesn't exist. Item is going to another item that is dyeable. Dye is applied. Red X, you do not have the required level. Okay, well, I know that one. Blue X, you cannot currently. Okay, I know that one too. That is so amazing. Oh my God, you have Kryle's outfit. I can't believe you spent money in the in-game. Look, honestly, I'm so tempted to spend money on the in-game store sometimes, but then I have to remind myself that like, no. There are so many good glamours you can get in this game. I'm just no nowhere even near close to end game yet, so I'm going to wait. Right? Anyway. I'm ready, old girl. I'll fudge you. I mean, yeah, I'm ready, but, like, I'm also, like, should I level my black mage instead? I should play my black mage. We're going to play the black mage. Oh, boy. I don't know why that had to re-register, but, like, whatever. Anyway. Items can be gender-locked. Unfortunately, I, I want to say the the fact that, how do I put it without being incredibly rude and assuming things? It's a Japanese game that is as progressive as Japan gets, but they still have the gender locked items, which is the stupidest thing and I hate it. And it's not just gender locked items, it's... it's there's, it's probably the only downfall of this game. The only negative I really have is they very much are gender binary. Phrasing, words, that... Let's let's give a bikini top and a bottom to male. Why not? Fudging, why not, Harris? If people want to wear a bikini top and bottom, then, then fudging let them. <laughs> but if you... How can I forget? Father bid me present this to you. I know it is sudden, but we believe the men would find it inspiring if you bore the colors of House for Tom into battle, pray to us this honor. Some of your gear will be glamoured, your tributes and abilities will be unaffected. Okay, we're gonna look super cool. They've been working to make everything equipable by all? Fudge yes. Let's go. Oh my god, is that meant to be Raubon? Wait, is it actually Raubon? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if these are actually the people. Or if they just look like them a lot. Oh my god, look at me. I look pathetic. Alliance vs Ishgard. So that's why I assumed, but I wasn't sure if that was actually Raoban if it just looked like Raoban. That's what I mean. No, that's no, you're you're valid, Let like all here present heed well the rules of engagement. That's more than fine. Like, this game isn't perfect. It's a ton of fun and very, very good when it comes to most things. It is very progressive when it comes to most things. It just is very much set in the, the binary gender. And that's probably a product of it f me still playing the game uh, and the fact that a lot of things that I'm up to, like the content I'm up to, yeah, get the fudge out of here, bot. The content I'm up to is from 20, what? 12? 2013? No, 2013 was... When was Heavensward released? It's like a decade old, this content, right? 
So a lot of the items that are gender locked are the older items that haven't been updated yet, as Harris says. Having said that, they still haven't actually updated the game to allow for more than two genders, and it's still very much coded to only have two genders, and they haven't done any changes around that, so you do pick either male or female, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, right? Which does suck, and it is a downfall, and in this day and age, changing that to be more progressive would do a lot of good for a lot of people. And it'll be great. I don't have a butt. It would be great. I agree with you, Mecca. That is all. That is that is all. <laughs> Peach is giving me unwanted kisses. Secretly approves. Ooh. I yeah. Cool. <laughs> but apart from that though. <laughs> The Grand Melee is a large-scale battle in which an allied company of Uldan, Godanian, and Laminzen forces will be pitted against a company of Ishgardian forces. I believe you can blame the company, not the devs. Um, when it comes to... I just feel like it's safer to never blame the devs of anything when it comes to an actual, like... When, if, okay, if a game is coded poorly, then it's a dev's fault. If mechanics are broken and things don't work, then it's a dev's fault. Unless the game is rushed, then it's the company's fault. <laughs> I feel like there are very few things that can actively be blamed on the devs when it comes to any game, because a lot of the time it's the devs who want to make a good finished product, right? The choices and the decisions that are made on a higher level are never the devs' fault. Unless I'm just severely misunderstanding. Exactly. Okay, good. So I feel like we can always never blame the devs. Squint. <laughs> Squint. Unless the devs are the company. In which case... I mean, what? Indie devs? When they are their own people? In which case, then you blame the devs. But that's because the devs are the... Pub people. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I think as far as... All MMOs on the market, this is probably one of the more progressive... Um, I'm ch look... Comparing it to things like World of Warcraft and ESO, like, the bar's already low, so that's probably not really helping anyone. Although, having said that, I can't speak much for ESO or SWOTOR or anything else, but World of Warcraft has made some really good improvements. I don't- actually, does World of Warcraft even have gender-locked things? I don't think they do! But World of Warcraft also requires a $20 subscription every month with no free trial, and... The prices keep going up and 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 up. The scenario is shown as more character than it really is. Oh, I, I don't care. I'm loving it. When it comes... Sorry, I am getting very distracted by chat. And in fact, I would apologize, but actually chat is better. So... Sorry, I'm getting distracted by a message. Well, it doesn't have gender lock. They have the same clothing scales and different overlays. Yeah. But having said that, Final Fantasy has different skeletons for all of their fudging races and classes. They have fudging Lalafels to Rogadans to fudging Viera and Hrothgars. They've got all sorts of different fudging types and skeletons and stuff, and they make every single item in the game fit to every single skeleton, but they, they, they didn't do the same thing for the gendered clothing. That's the part that gets me, right? That's the part that gets me. That could, like, it's only a few extra skeletons to, like, change up. You know what I'm trying to say here? Yeah, they do all sorts of small edits. Like, oh, if you've got ears, we've got edits for that. If you've got tails, we've got edits for that. If you are a tiny Lalafell, you've got a model for that. If you are a massive fudging Viera or Hrothgar or Rogadon, we've got a model for that. We've got models for, for the little people, for the big people, for all the people in between. Tats! Cat girls, tail ears, cat, cat girls, tail ears, cat ears, uh, fudging dragon tails, all sorts of, all those different models. But then they just didn't do male and female. And you know what, I just, that's what I don't understand. I mean, they did do male and female for like 99% of items. But for very specific pieces that are for one gender only. Hold on a second though, Horace. Having said that, 
no, no, never mind. That just defeats my purpose. My point is, I don't know why. That is all. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. When a combatant is incapacitated, the opposing company will be awarded tactical points. I'm just gonna zoom on past. Oh no. The first company to attain the designated tackle rating of 100 points has declared the victor. What that? During the Grand Melee, efficiency may mark certain combatants with the Furious Gaze, which will then be indicated by an ethereal, ethereal tether linking them to their company's flag. While defeating most combatants will reward your company 1 point, defeating marked combatants will reward 10. Okay, so just kill those ones. An ungendered character creator. Doesn't Cyberpunk do a pretty good job of that? Like, you just control the certain... This may be incredibly... I mean, look, I don't know. My my perspective of ungendered character creator, because I've given it no thought, is full control over uh, body shape, genitals, or genitalia area. Obviously, it doesn't have to be explicit, but the areas and also the face structure and just not having a gender tied to any option, right? Just get rid of the gender selector. Just like, wouldn't would that not be an ungendered character creator? I don't know. The way Cyberpunk does it is... Yeah, the way Cyberpunk does it is you still choose a body type and one is very still a female and one is a male. But that's more... It does still have the gendered choices, but you can still pick whichever genitalia for whichever version, I believe. Unless the chest is linked to the gender. Hmm. I mean, look, it's still more progressive than other games. You can certainly choose whichever lower genitalia you want. Never thought I would say that in any context of my life ever. Um, <laughs> but there's definitely one I'm thinking of where you can pick whichever for whatever. I just don't remember what it is. I don't know. Well, the thing most I've read that. Mecha distracted me with talks of non-gendered character creators, and I got intrigued because I am a nice person. Baldur's Gate's probably what I was thinking of. I must, I might, I probably was thinking about Baldur's Gate, which also does that, and it does that very well. Cyberpunk also does it too, but. Mark combatants also possess enhanced attributes, rendering them more powerful, more difficult to defeat. Defending and defeating these combatants is key to victory. Okay. This seems like a game mode that should have been like... I mean, I haven't played it yet, but this seems like a game mode that should have been more permanent. The glory of like a PvE game mode or something? I don't know. Okay, we get it. Everyone's nodding. I, Raubarn, look alike. Unless you actually are Raubarn. I really can't tell. It looks like Raubarn. Oh, it fudging is Raubarn. Why are you guys not in the fight? Ready, then. Oh, because the alliance leaders aren't participating. It's just that Rao Ban is a general. Women, duh. That's sexist. There's still gender, but nothing's gender locked. It wouldn't be hard to make one generic skeleton. You can just use sliders. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Just have one skeleton and have it use sliders for everything, right? The only Heroes options... Never die. Women of the Eorzean Alliance. Let the grand melee begin! Pocky, first of all, wee wee, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Secondly, the zoom out as, from Nanamo, as it said, heroes never die. Yeah, fantastic timing. Um, thirdly, what I was going to say before I got interrupted was... Uh, with the gender character creation or non-gender character creation, all you'd need is the one skeleton with different sliders for the different parts and the selections for the different everything. And then the only thing you would really even need to appease those people who want to be a certain gender or other is a pronoun selector. He, him, they, them, she, her. And I don't know if there are any others which are... Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? I don't know if there are any others which are like commonly used. I'm only familiar really with those three. And then there's like a mix of like many other ones, but you can't really account for everything, right? 
Or maybe a custom pronoun enter. Oh, custom pronouns. You put in the text field what your pronouns are going to be. I'm a genius. Use your own, create your own pronouns. The equivalent of a he or a she or a they. And then the equivalent of a her, him, them. And you just let the player put in the pronoun. Appease the ESRB. Fudge the ESRB. The ESRB is so backwards. God forbid someone can't make their own fudging character be whatever fudging pronouns or looks they want. It's not a fudging political thing. It's not an 18 plus fudging mature age thing to have pronouns. Fudge the ESRB and fudge American politics for making anyone think different. That's all I have to say about that. Sorry, I got incredibly unnecessarily, probably necessarily, but like very much um, angry about... <sighs> the ESRB make me so mad with their fudging rulings. You mean about detecting nudities? Oh! I see. I thought you were just talking about the ESRB being all like, it's a mature age because there's a pronoun selector in it. Because... Th yeah, look. That's a valid point, Mecca. But then the question becomes, where is the line drawn, right? And and that's a very serious question because the line is not based on just chest size alone, right? You could be a woman with nothing on the chest and people would still want that censored because they see you as a woman. So if you are feminine presenting for everything else, they still want that covered no matter how small the bust size is, right? So then the question becomes, and also the opposite, if you're a man and you have, yeah, equality, everyone has to wear a top. <laughs> but like, you see my point? It's not just about the chest, it's about how they present. So does the ESRB even matter at the end of the day? Unfortunately, yes. The only people take it seriously are mothers who are doing that. But see, that's not the case. The internet and people who buy games with Steam who don't pay attention to the ESRB and all that stuff, a very low minority of people. A, a loud and vocal minority, but the majority of people do care about the ESRB because that's what allows them to advertise. It's what allows them to actually have their games be sold and rated because if they're not rated and if they're rated too high, then they're restricted from being sold in certain areas. They're restricted from advertising in certain places publishing as well exactly it's so important we don't care what the esrb rating is as gamers because that doesn't bother us but it, it determines a hell of a lot for actually getting your game out there which sucks anyway peachy it is a very loaded convo but a fun one <laughs> the point is society is too fudging focused and obsessed with protecting the innocent people you don't fudging... It... Sorry, it angers me a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Unreasonably so. Checked off your rant for the day. You got all of us involved in this rant. How dare you? The Furious Gaze is upon us. Oh, shoot. I see it. This is a very cool looking fight. I'm actually a huge fan. Once I complete all these minigames, you'll never have to hear this music ever. Thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it! Like, literally it. never did. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's already that time again. 51 months. That's so long. Also, can we see our score anywhere?
So I'd make it a thigh swung slam by having ultimate win conditions and kill everything. Oh, I 100% agree. 100% agree. It's hard to do and like work out and stuff, but I definitely. Oh wait, that's the. Right side and behind. Oh fudge, no! I can't be behind. I look like a fool to everyone in chat. Fudge, I forgot my ley lines. That's why we're losing. I'm gonna pet my bad dragon. Chibi, hello, Wee how are you? Hope you're doing well. I turn and just start attacking the other grand companies. It's just one time. It was just one time, okay? I'm sorry. It's like two times the S effects for swords. It's not that they're twice the sound effects for swords, it's that they're twice as loud. Yeah, I know Chibi's going around. It's fine. It's great. Oh my god, I'm winning now. Barely, but I am. I see what you mean, sort of, vaguely. Yeah, they're just using the same, the NPCs are just using the same abilities. we win? I wasn't paying attention. I have no idea if we won or lost. But how are you doing, Chibi? I hope you're doing well. What the fudge is that? Cyclops? Why is there a Cyclops here? All forces fall back. Why do we have to fall back? Just work together. Take out a Cyclops. Cyclops? Oh, hi, Thancred. Thancred's just gonna down that thing, isn't he? Poke it in the eye, Thancred. Poke it in the eye. I love how everyone else is like, fall back, it's a Cyclops, and Thancred just rolls up to it, kills it. Continue the melee. I will deal with him. Nope. I still don't know why there was a Cyclops. I've literally never seen a Cyclops in this game before. And suddenly there's one like right in the middle of the, the fudging battle, like, hello. <laughs> yes, you have. Okay, well, shut up. <laughs> That's my argument. Hi, Raban. That's a cool helmet you got there. Okay, look, it's fine, Harris. It's fine. Oh my god, Rabon. I'd love if he just swung and killed him right there. So Emmerich survives it. Oh. I'm sorry, this is meant to be a non lethal battle. This is cool, though.
Lieutenant, I will not lie. I was hoping it would come to this. So then, shall we dance? Dang it all. This is really cool, actually. My own grand company leader. Find me in a 1v1 in combat. He has a bit of a disadvantage, like, considering he's been disarmed. Anyway. <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right! Oh, fudge. No! Ley lines. I know, I put down my ley lines and then I immediately regretted it. Oh my god. Am I gonna die here? That's why you fuse, use ley lines? Yeah. Look, it ain't doing too good. And by it, I mean me. Come on, take out the last one. Sure the next oh i've done it okay <laughs> never mind and i'm the winner that was such a cool fight so i win now Put down your arms, friends. I'm the victor. Did... Did she win? Then we... We... Shut the fudge up, Emmanuelaine. No one likes you. Victory is ours! Ishgard! Ishgard! Yeah, so sharp cast ensures that the proc will, ensures the proc will happen from whatever ability. I get it. I just derped and forgot that's what it did. <laughs> I should well be using fought. it more often. Well fought, my friend. You truly are the warrior of warriors. Thank the fury you were on our side. Look at me, I'm so proud. Me being short for me, Millie, of course. Of course. Get him out of here! Boo! Oh, my lungs are burning, and I can barely stand. Points in the mountain. That's my sister. Is that you pointing at me, Harris? To do it, but then I did. We did. We faced the alliance's best, and together, with one heart, with one purpose, we prevailed. I hope the game is not trying to give him a redemption arc because uh, he doesn't deserve a redemption arc. After a thousand years of hardship, of strife and bloodshed. We are strong enough to rise to any challenge 
be it on the battlefield or beyond. Herbal headlock, oh hell yeah. We be siblings. The future holds so much promise. So much joy. We need only show them the way. If he acted like he was 12 years old, he's now 14. Which is arguably worse. Oh, it would be great, Mecca. I'd love it. A truly magnificent display, Sir Knight. While doubtless less than pleased, I am quite sure the grand companies are honored to have been bested by such valiant warriors. Really, you are only bested by me. Let's be real right now. The honor was ours, your grace. I am pleased to see that Ishgard's proud martial tradition is being upheld. When the time comes, I trust you will fight alongside your brothers and sisters in the Eorzean Alliance with the same fervor you displayed in opposing them. I know, Nemo. I note that our friend elected to take the field in Ishgardian colors. If not for these guard soldiers backing you, the enemy army did have you on the ropes in that game of tug of war. But consider, the tug of war was irrelevant because we beat Raban, and that was the win condition. <laughs> At my behest, your grace, if we have given offense, the blame lies with me. <laughs> Fear not, Sir Knight. It was a surprise, nothing more. And any hint of ill feeling was thoroughly dispelled by the spectacle of our mutual friend's duel with General Rauban. On what are we the subject looking at? of surprises, I could not help but marvel at the passion and unity of purpose displayed by your countrymen, given the troubling reports we have received of late. Yeah, speaking of troubling reports, uh, where's Thancred? Because it's quite troubling we haven't heard from him and his report about the Cyclops, anyway. I tried and failed. I shall take that as a compliment, Your Grace. The events to which you allude are the price of change. The end of the Dragonsong War marks the beginning of a new era for our nation and for the people, high and lowborn alike, who will lead her into the future. Ah, yes. The people. Nanamo? What is it about the people? Change is indeed a perilous thing. For we who seek it, and they who fear it. I shall pray for Ishgard. And for you. That fate hasn't half our time limit, so he's like, wait, what fate? And who's still at what? Thancred? Oh! <laughs> yeah, Thancred's in the middle of a fate, and, uh, he's running out of time. Oh. Oh, well, Fudge, there he is. That made for a refreshing change. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. I was not talking about you behind your back. How long was the Dragon Song War? A thousand years. A thousand years. Which is, like, absolutely nothing to the dragons. These guardians certainly seem happy with themselves. I, for my part, am merely glad you did not strain anything in the process of single-handedly winning the battle for them. Oh my god, Horus. <clears throat> oh! Bankrupt? It is but a scratch, I assure you. Doubt. I will not suffer you to worry over me. Not when we have a dozen far more important concerns. Make that two dozen. Still, as Yishtola never tires of telling me, we can but face them head on one at a time. One day at a time. As Minfilia would have done. I'm still not used to Thancred's new voice. Yeah. 
The entire county is about to go through an entire economic collapse. Most soldiers will end up unemployed. The large industries will find themselves without a patriotic excuse to take advantage of people. Honestly, Mecca, it isn't. There are going to be issues, but not be in those ways. The no, the issues are going to be <laughs> the fudging hopping. The issues, Mecca, are going to be because their entire society was built up on a religion and priests and archbishops and stuff who were hiding the truth that they started the war in the first place and that the dragons never wanted to be in this fight and that the dragons aren't actually their enemies, they're just defending themselves from the fact that their society is being the aggressors in a situation where uh, they are telling everyone that etc 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 and so everyone is highly devoted to this religious uh group of you know religion that rules the city and now the religion has basically been like the archbishops have been murdered and the uh they're losing control and there's a th th infighting between the people and the the thing so yeah they <laughs> and also most soldiers aren't going to end up unemployed because there is actually still a war going on and they're going to help us with the war now because we've helped them with their war and their war is going to be over. So now their soldiers can be redirected away from fighting dragons and towards fighting the Galian Empire that is invading. So the soldiers will be fine. And there's still going to be a patriotic excuse because Ishgard still likes their fighting in the wars and... Um... Listen, it's 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 pretty bad, but for like different reasons, you know. <laughs> On the other hand, the lava felt ex dragon romance writers can come. Oh fudge, no. Is the empire actually invading? Let me show you the map. So you see this entire like white area. I believe that's the Galian Empire. And they are encroaching on Eorzea. Is this whole place Eorzea? Or is it just this place that's Eorzea? They, they actually are invading Eorzea because they want to bring bring order to Eorzea. Pretty sure just where the castle is. Okay, just where the castle is is the Guardian Empire, but they are expanding towards the thingy. Is the world flat or round? Um, I assume it's round. I wouldn't know. Is this a spoiler? Don't spoil it if it's a spoiler chat. I don't know if this is going to be a spoiler or a major plot point or anything, because I know in Endwalker, I told you, I know nothing about Endwalker, but I know that there is a moon involved, and that's all I know, so do not tell me. <laughs> My point is they are invading Eorzea because they want to bring control to the um, creatures that cannot uh, rule themselves or something, something, something. Eorzea is just the continent. Okay, so this is Eorzea. Nani has a moon, but Nani is also flat. How does... How... How... But the rotations around the... Also, Nani is flat? Oh, hi, Peachy. I didn't see you there, too. Hello. Hello, Peachy. You've seen Asians residing in space, and you've seen the Earth be round? Okay. I, look, it's been a year. I don't remember. <laughs> This is why this is why I'm playing my North American character and I'm doing the story and going through everything again is because I don't remember anything and I want to remember everything. I am a s huge law sponge. I'm a huge law sponge. And I the the law has like slowly soaked out of the sponge, so I need to soak it back up again, you know. I've forgotten what it was like to feel so alive. Not since leaving the blood sands have, have I had the privilege. Not since the bull of Alamigo hung up his swords. It was after you fought the kingdom, the warrior of darkness first showed up. Oh yeah, that was two weeks ago. Not even, maybe even like a week or something. <laughs> Back then the outcome may have been different, but I do not begrudge you your victory. I know how far you've come, how much you've endured. Our fight only confirmed it. We shall have to do this again one day when time allows. I shall look forward. Now go to the Ishgar and celebrate your victory. You've earned it, blah, blah, blah. Look left. Yeah, I know that's you. What of it? I don't. I don't get it. What am I? What am I missing? Meant Peachy. Yeah, I know Peachy's here. Peachy's been here the whole time. I said hi to Peachy beforehand. Look, look at her. She's so cool. And makes me question whether I want to make a McCurdy, but that's fine. <laughs> 
Chat, I'm gonna have to like make some characters in the character creator and take some screenshots and send them in the Discord later tonight and be like, help. When I get my first Fantasia, what should I look like? Because I, I don't know what I wanna. <laughs> You're gonna help us with the Galleon Empire. The one who slaughtered guys and destroyed the only means to attack Aeorzea, the ultimate weapon. I'm. What? <laughs> Your, your ult's a hero. I mean, my NA character is currently a hero, but like, I don't know if I'm vibing. If you make a character like Peaches, will be a lot of thirst in the chat. No, 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 no th th I won't be streaming them though. <laughs> I won't be streaming them though. Also, if chat's not allowed to thirst because I said so. <laughs> said your goodbyes? Oh, no, I didn't. In all the years I've known Ralban, I cannot ever recall seeing him look so happy in defeat. Everything seems to be falling into place, does it not? The Ishgardians have claimed the symbolic victory and the Aeolian Alliance has been strengthened in the process. You made this happen. No stream them will stop you? Uh, yeah. Oh, fudge, that's right. I was going to get some cool looking... What was I going to pick up again, chat? I was going to pick up a really cool looking weapon. I don't remember which one I was going to go with. Oh, yeah, I was going to go with that one because that one looked really cool. You've learned the emote victory. Okay, well, first off, equip this. Ooh, shiny. I'm going to, but first. But first. Let me... In my emotes. Shoot, which one... Hold on, what are all my emotes set on? I forgot which classes my emotes are set on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I need to add the victory emote to my... Um... To my emote selector tool thingy. Okay. Squeeze me. Emotes. So conjurer. All my emotes. Okay, so happy and positive. Oh, I maxed out for these. Okay, so I'll need to put them on actions, probably. Unless I move... I move surprised over? I'm trying to work okay, out how I arrange my emotes, chat. Give me a moment. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Maybe soothe. Pay respects. Move pay respects over to actions. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my pay respects over to my actions. So, for that, I need to... Chibi's here now too. Hi, Chibi. layout for okay so pet your respects I need to move that out of the way and then the victory emote will go there should we put that there why not is this pg <laughs> i love how i'm standing as well <laughs> it's fine don't worry about it <laughs> um and then I need to go to my actions, which are my arcanists. So go to my arcanist. Nope, that's not my arcanist. That's my thaumaturge. Like an idiot. I don't know what my arcanist is. There we go. And now I go to pay fudge. Pay res respect. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't showing up. And then I chuck that here. And then. We're blam. Back to this layout. And... Are you ready for the victory emote? Hold on, I gotta get out of the way of... Uh, there we go, okay. Does it do a different emote for every class? Oh, that's hug. 
Yep. Oh my god. We gotta go through all the classes, chat. Paladin emote. We gotta we gotta see them all. Paladin. That's pretty cool. It's like colleges ordered hot chips. Fudge, yes. We love hot chips. Warrior. So high hit to Amy Elms keep sweating until your mouth slips. Listen, we are over here in fudging hot as fudge, uh, cold as fudge Australia land. You want some cold dessert too? Oh, I want dessert. <laughs> Sorry, I am going to go monk equipped, but glamour's can't be restored. Okay, interesting. I am going to go through every single one of these victory emotes. I'm so sorry. That's pretty cool. All gathers and crafters use the paladin skeleton, so you can swing a sword like a sword. Interesting. I was going to ask how they are or work. Next time you better ask everyone. Yeah, Pocky, I'm like right here. I'm like, I'm like the closest to you and you didn't ask me. I feel so, that's so mean. <gasps> Yo! Did you guys see that? I'm gonna do that again. Look at that. I did a full on flip. Yeah, no, I worked that out, Horace. I just like didn't realize I had glammed it. Apparently I've glammed quite a few. That's fine. <laughs> These are so cool. What's the bards? I want to know the bards. Oh, I do a little dance and a spin and a... For my tiny alchemist thing, literally, that's all it is. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. We're already seeing the Black Mages. Oh, I love it. You get down your little pen and you write in your book. You know what I don't love? Oh, I'm talking in chat. Whoops. What I don't love is this hat. Get the fudging hat out of here. Both book users are the same. Okay, good to know I don't need to do the other one. But I'm gonna do it anyway. It's the same, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> okay, last one, astrologian. Why is my astrologian in a maid outfit? That's what I want to know. Why the fudge is my astrologian a maid outfit? Why is it lit? Why is my astrologian in the maid outfit? Why isn't everyone in the maid outfit? Um, because. Duh. Maid outfit for Astro. I guess I'm playing a fudging Astro. I can't! Chibi! I can't play Astro, they're not max level. They're not max level, I can't do it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You get your points back, I'm sorry, can't do it. <laughs> I hit 60 while back and get Gunbreak and Dancer. Yes, however, I want to, I think I said this before as well, I want to unlock and play each class when I'm actually up to their expansion. You're selecting this skin, duty roulette time, fudge. Fudge, do you guys want to join me for a duty roulette? You guys want to join me for a duty roulette? <laughs> Head duty. Let's do leveling. Not that it fudging matters. Oh my God. Actually, do we even want to do duly roulette or do I just do like the highest level I have access to? And that will give me all the XP. You guys ready for like highest level? You get the tank. Hell yeah. And I get to heal.
We're doing the vault, friends. Feel that it gives you more XP in general. Uh, I I just assumed that it was all based on the um, based on whatever level dungeon you get. What does this one do again? Creates a bomb with a target member. Oh yeah. I want to have that on that. And how long does it last for? Twenty seconds. Oh, I just forgot to draw a card. Also, forgive me, I'm still not used to which cards are good for which purpose. So I can and I will put the wrong cards on the wrong people. <laughs> okay, so this one is DPS. Or healer. Wait. I can't remember or self. DPS or healer. But like, which DPS? Because I know some are good for like range and some- Oh my god. Chibi, don't die. What the fudge? Oh, you're a spire. How can you remember that? How do you remember? Does it sound fancy magic y for magic users? You got me. You got me there. Wait, you're also- wait, you're both magic u users. Fudge. Oh my god, Chibi, I just healed you, but you were already on full health. <laughs> oh, fudge, I've been giving the fudging- I- no wonder I was so confused. I was giving the fudging magic using ones over the fudging peachy because I... Fudge. Dancer is not magic. Peachy, I've been giving you the wrong ones. <laughs> I'm a little silly. Oh my god, he's casting Holiest of Holy. What does that mean above my head? Oh, that's what that means. Oh god, that's what that means. I'm going to be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing. Turns out I do not know the mechanics of this boss fight, like, at all. Avoid the balls. Not me running into them. Get that treasure. I don't know if I actually need that, but I'm gonna assume I do. Cause you're a mentor? Oh yeah. How do you get to be a mentor anyway? Like, is there a certain, like, requirement that you have to meet? 
GB, you're too far ahead. I can't heal. Uh, you're a warrior. You don't need healing. <laughs> Got Chibi. One thousand five hundred commendations. Dang. Three thousand duty seems like it's the one that's gonna, that like is the hardest to get. Oh my god. Peachy, please don't die on me. Oh, really? Okay, never mind. Commendations then. Oh, I guess 3,000 duties. Hold on. 3,000 duties probably means you get, like, even if you get one commendation per duty. That's still 3,000 duties right there. Oh, sorry, 1,500 duties. You're dying anyway. Well, stop it. Stop it. We're fine. Me crying. You guys gonna wait for Peachy or? <laughs> save Peachy. I always save Peachy. The one I don't know if I can save is Chibi. Never mind, Chibi's a fudging warrior. Peachy, no, you've been hit by the fudging bot again. It's okay, Peachy, I wanted to wait for you. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. I will not yield to you. Ow. I'm fine. The auto moderator tree. Why does this remind me of a Fudging, uh, what's the, the thing? Wait, I just gave the wrong fudging magic to the wrong person. It's Persona. This sounds like a Persona fudging character a little. Like a Persona palace boss. Jeez, let me step stand in this really tiny square. There's another treasure coffer over there. I am really bad at Astro. Astro is not my favorite and that's because I'm really bad at managing the card system. Kamashita, it does sound like Kamashita. It does sound like Kamashita. Am 
I'm actually going to swap these two around. <gasps> oh my god, more loot. Is it getting reworked to get... Wait, it's getting reworked to get three cards at once. Oh, so instead of having to draw one at a time, you get three at once. Oh my god, please. The amount of times I forget to draw cards is insane because I'm just not good at managing the system. I can't imagine playing Astrologer when it first released where, like, all the cards had to go to different people. Abilities are going to change what you think they're like. One regen, one attack buff, one heal. Yeah. I mean, look, it's better than the 6% increased damage. Like, oh man. <gasps> That's so scary. Well, yeah, exactly. It's like nothing. Fair enough, Peachy, you take care of yourself. Final curtain. Is there something I'm missing, Mecca? It did not sound like curtain. What did it sound like? because you use robotic horses but not right. I am not understanding. Ooh, that is much better than oh I got the card too. I got some prisms. I got ooh, I got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good, lot of good, lot of good stuff. Don't worry about it. I am only worried about it. level and the XP yes I'm so close to 59 this is insane
Okay. Let's open my checker by saddlebag. And then add to saddlebag. You're not fine because you're a warrior. You're fine because you're a good warrior. Yeah, I'm 59 and I'm so close. I am so close. That's okay. What class is mine at level 50? Okay, so let's go to Dark Knight. Did I get any good new gear for Dark Knight? No. Fair enough. Did I get any good new gear for my white mage? No. Fair enough. My scholar? No, fair enough. No, because all my gear for my maxed out classes is like higher than... Thing. Higher than thing. Good work, me. I'm so good. <gasps> I did get a book for my scholar though. Summoner. Words. Leave Peachy alone. Let Peachy wear the outfit they want to wear. Let them wear what they want. Hi, Amrik. Oh, right. He's going to give me... <gasps> Yo. Look at that cool freaking conjurers thing. You can't hear. What do you mean? You can't what? I'm going to get the conjures thing. You can't take off the outfit. Then don't take off the outfit. Don't take off the outfit, Peachy. We don't need to see what's underneath. Because, um, you're disgusting. <laughs> you're disgusting, Harris. Yeah, literally. So sus. So sus. We have done it. Nay, you have done it. You've brought us the victory we so desperately needed. There is not left but to... Peachy, you better not have. Return to the capital. Let's see what reception awaits us. I heard the fudging change, and I don't even get to see what Peachy did. Because it's putting me in a cutscene immediately. We'll never know if Peachy... Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not going to go there. My lord. Thank you, Chibi. Again, don't need the quotation marks. Ah, uh, and I am going to get rid of them immediately. Because <laughs> it does bother me, surprisingly enough. There we go. All fixed. Onurwa, my boy. Shouldn't you be in bed? And shouldn't you be in jail? Thank you for your concern, my lord. But I have largely recovered from my ordeal. And I have naught but several scars to show for it. Which I have been told some women may find appealing. Yikes. I see. And to think I was worried sick over you. I'm not sure I understand, my lord. Well, let's put that theory to the proof, shall we? M m my lord? Not the dub a great many things have occurred in my absence. I thought I might begin to make amends by welcoming you in person. Oh boy, Chibi is quoting the video again. What's the age of marriage here? Better be fudging at least 18. The messengers spared not their chocobos to bring us word of your victory in the grand melee. I cannot well describe our relation when we heard the news. It called to mind the day we rejoined the Aeorzean Alliance, and I glimpsed hope rekindled in the eyes of the people. Cheapy, please! Stop! The Fury herself ushers us into a new era. Sir Emmerich, the time is now. Oh? The time is now? Aye, that it is. Reconvene the conference and summon Vidofnir oh. to Falcon's Nest. Of course, the conference. We will make peace with Reisvelga's brood and hasten this bloody war to its end. Yes, Lord Commander. Oh, yeah, true that you actually can marry other players in this game, but you both need to be level 50. I forgot about that. 
Wait, does that mean... I to Artoirel and bid him resume preparations. Does that mean most common folk? By which I mean, does that mean commoners never get married because they never get to level 50 in anything because they're commoners? And in fact, they don't even get to level 1 of anything because they're commoners. Does that mean all the NPCs? Unless they're like the main characters and stuff. Does that mean they just never get married? How do they have kids outside of wedlock? In this society? How progressive of them. <laughs> what level is the manservant? Um, like negative three. You had an in-game wedding with your ex. Oof, peachy. Being classes and keeping the common. I'm not keeping them from marrying. Mecca said marriage is at level 50. Commoners aren't going to reach level 50. They got to level 50 of their personal story. Ah, uh, no, no. I'm sorry. I'll give them a pass if they got to level 50 of crafting. If they got to level 50 of being a crafter, then they get to marry. I think. That makes sense to me. Hey, man, you got the mount of fudge You yourself at your brother's disposal. He'll be glad of your assistance. If I ever find a girlfriend, first of all, that would be absolutely amazing. But <laughs> secondly, <laughs> If I ever find a girlfriend who plays this game, don't you if me, Mecca. It hasn't happened yet. Who plays this game as well. And we play together. And then it gets to the stage where like, there may be a marriage. And we do get married also in this game. I am 100% buying the most expensive option. You know it. You know it. Edmonds VA passed a while back. That's what Chibi was referring to. Wait, what? I've missed something. Your wife and you got married in the game as well? Hell yeah, Chibi. See, it just, it just, it just seems like it'd be a fun time, you know? Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, if. If, Mecca. If, because my future ain't looking too hot. You said daddy Edmont because of your pass. I wasn't concerned about the crying. I was concerned about the daddy part. Said the lawyer with a job. No stopping it now, is there? I'm sorry. We should inform you. Was that meant to magically ups. help me get a girlfriend? Cause it hasn't. <laughs> you heard it here first from Mecha Chat. You can only get a girlfriend if you're a lawyer with a job. <laughs> My dear friend, I doubt I will ever be able to thank you enough. But when the conference is successfully concluded, I damn well mean to try. I am ignoring your message, Harris, about him being a daddy, because yuck. Treat your life like an anime. You'll save a girl accused of a crime she didn't do. She'll wrap her arms around you and say she owes you. I actually don't like that. The idea of getting with a client gives me, uh, to, to say what the, uh, young, young and say, gives me the ick. <laughs> we need to work on a going outside bit. Shush. You have certificates and a modicum of proof of ability to make long-term commitments. Listen. I may have credibility to make long-term commitments because of my law degree. However, if you look at my gaming history, where's the commitment? Where's the... I can't even, like... what? Str I can't even stick with the one game for, like, more than a month before I drop it. <laughs> the Eternal Bond gives you Eternity Ring, which is a free TP directly to your partner once every 30 minutes. That is amazing. That's so good. Yes, I'm single. How did you know? Oh, Harris. Hey, AJ, what's grass? Um, I believe it's green. Cows eat it. And it's in the park outside my house, which I walk to and from work from every day. Did I say you dual general rub on within the... Right? Flip? <laughs> Within a ring of flames. I did not think the man so ostentatious. Would that I could have seen it. No, I know I'm still gaming, but like, you know my point? I can't, I want to, okay. I said this last year when I was playing Final Fantasy. 
before I moved on to the next game. I said it last year and I'll say it again. I really don't want to move on from this game. I thoroughly enjoy playing this game. I enjoy streaming it. I enjoy playing this game while streaming and talking to you guys in chat. I think it's like some of the most fun I have and hopefully the most fun you guys have. And so I don't want to like get bored of it and move on. But like it happened last year. It happened to all my games. It'll happen again. And that makes me really upset. Sorry when I got bored with this case, I'm going to start working on another one. Ah! Okay, it is touchable. Can I touch it? What should I should I touch it? Yes, grass is touchable, Peachy. Also, you can't talk. You have a boyfriend. So shut your fudging mouth. <laughs> Left dinner dishes for a while. Oof, see Harris. Go enjoy your dinner dishes. After we parted ways in Matoya's cave, I returned here to speak with Tartaru. We agreed to tell the others only that our search room affiliate had reached an impasse. So you haven't told them she's dead yet. I subsequently learned you'd left for Falcon's Nest, but I thought it best to keep myself away for a time. To keep to myself a time. I am want to rely on you over much when we were together and I needed to think, to reflect. Don't touch grass in Hollywood. It's usually coated in dog feet. Interesting. Good to know. I'm now thinking back about all the grass I have touched and how much dog pee has been on it. And I have this sudden compulsion to wash my hands. <laughs> AJ plays playing for this morning. AJ drops it. We spend the next little year complaining about it because he stopped playing it. He starts playing it again randomly. Repeat. That's how it goes, Chibi. That's how it goes. I will cycle through games. And then at some point, the cycle will repeat. I do this with World of Warcraft. I do this with Final Fantasy. I do it with ESO. I do it with Payday. I do it with freaking Mass Effect. I do it with... with all the games that have long-term replayability or like just are long-term games, I will do it with non-stop. Enjoy my Mega Shield. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> um, in short, there's some things I must, I feel I must say. There's nothing so urgent I cannot wait until after the conference. Let's make Falcon's Nest and see if Lord Artoirel has need of our assistance. Thank you for the mage shields. I appreciate them. Thank you for the double made shields. I double appreciate them. Thank you for the fudging quadruple shields. I quadruple appreciate them. Holy fudge. Chad, I have four shields! Chad, I have six shields! And there they go. Cat, hello. Wee how are you? Hope you're doing well. What's up? How are things? How are you? Wait, why am I going this way? I need to go to Falcon's Nest. Guys, join me in Falcon's Nest. Take your free teleports. Tired. Same though. I feel that. Six AM. Are you up because of school? Well met, Mistress Malene. Thank you for looking after my brother. Can you lean to the side right now? Eh. Ada. Is that is that what you wanted to is that what you is that is that what you wanted to to, to see? Is that anyway? Still more than you. Oof. Bye, breaks your thing, Chibi. Just woke up. Good morning to you, cat. Your chips finally came in and not even hot. Boo! The hamster. I'm sorry? The what? You're gonna have to explain that to me. So I'm gonna break them. Why are you up at 6 a.m.? They say he fought bravely and he did not dishonor his house, but you, my lady, to you we owe everything. As you can see, we've made every effort to strike while the iron is hot. We made our intentions known and that all would be welcome to attend, and so they came by the grace of the fury they came. Microwave ovens were originally invented to return hamsters from cryosleep. Holy shoot. That is a fun fact. You didn't say fun facts, but that is a fun fact. And a terrifying one. Did it work? <laughs> it would not have worked. The ceremony will not be a lengthy affair, but there's still much to be done. I would speak with you more, but I must see to my duties. As for you and Master Alphano, you'll do naught but enjoy yourselves. Is that clear? If you, if any dare beg your assistance again, I will have words. Sadly, it only works on hamsters, so now we use it for... Wait, so it worked? Wait, so it worked? They were put in cry... Sorry. 
So they were fudging frozen. Like straight up like... How would they have been frozen? Like flash frozen? Like... And then they just got heated up again and they were fine. I severely doubt the... No! Surely not! Hibernation? No, it wouldn't have just been hibernation, because if it was just hibernation, then they would have still been alive and functioning, just in a really low power state. Cryosleep implies frozen. No, nothing, nothing going on in, in that body. No cell movement whatsoever. Just zip and zilch, right? And then just bam, microwave heat up. You're good and happy. Everything's fine. They're still alive. Are there long-term side effects? My scientific mind is being blown right now. The ceremony will not be a lengthy affair, but there's... Oh, I've already read that. Okay. Hi, Alpha. No. Well, there you have it. We have been forbidden from meddling. Shall we wait till you have other matters to attend to before the ceremony begins? Let's see the other matters. Oh, other matters just lets me do whatever I want. You're going back to bed, Seer Cat. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate you. Go to sleep. Goodbye. 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 Let's do this ceremony, friends. Are you guys ready for the ceremony? I'm not hearing a no, so I'm going to take that to mean a yes. Another early discovery of microwave oven technology was by British scientists, including James Locke, who in the 1950s used reanimate cryogenically frozen hamsters, 15, 16, 17. Holy smokes. You're a camel? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. That is not a camel, that is a fudging brontosaurus. <laughs> You're going to lurk for a bit and have a lie down. You have a lie down, Peachy. Thank you for joining. You take care of yourself. You go rest. I only hope Thancred and the others will not be late. Epical events do not come around very often. Epical? Epical? Ep am good. I like how we look very formal in our black mage attire as well. Oh my god, it's Kryl. One bucket for each party member. Don't you do this to me. <laughs> I'd love if she just pushed him off the edge. The appointed hour approaches. Like this whole time she was working with him just to make this grand spectacle of just sh shove. Oh. Like, joke's on you. I was a triple agent for the Garleans this whole time. <laughs> Oh, it's the girl. She begged leave to watch the proceedings. I saw no reason not to grant it. That's fair. If not, mighty sus. Should I choose to deviate from my prepared remarks? I ask that you trust in my judgment. Hello? Sir? Have I ever done otherwise? What are you going to say? Yeah, I know. I'm just like, hang on a second. That's sus. You gonna go off script? It is not easy. It's so not easy. Ah, oh, how long it hath been since our peoples met thus, children of Thordon, even by our reckoning. Vidofnir. Daughter of Hresvelga, we give thanks for your visit and bid you welcome to Falcon's Nest. It's a pity the dragon is ugly. You take that back. Vidofnir is beautiful just the way she is. Our sire bade us hearken unto the whispers of our hearts. They spoke to us of a paradise lost, 
of bonds of brotherhood which they yearn to see restored. Ours too yearn for such a restoration. I'm sorry, what, Harris? And they have guided us here this day, that they might yearn no longer. Go off script. Go off script. Go off script. Go off script. Brothers and sisters, ye who stand as witness, hearken to me. I don't appreciate the joke. <laughs> that is all. Since the days of Eld, when the bonds betwixt like, man and dragon were sundered by our hand, our peoples have known only war. Thanks for being here, Chibi. I appreciate you. Enjoy your lurk. Bloodshed without end. Losses beyond counting. And still we fought. And still we fought. Where is your source for that, Harris? I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I fudging thought, Harris. Some wounds do not heal. The dead cannot be returned to us. But we the living can yet choose another course. Here and now, we can lay down this burden, this hatred, this vengeance. Those who have been a Johnny cannot return to us. Chibi, I'll have you know. I bet you can't even point out one time I've died. Right now, right this second, when have I died? Just one moment. Just tell me, right now, off the top of your head. Let's go, three seconds. You're taking too long. You can't think of one. That's it. The dozens of NPCs, plenty. See, Mecha, look, that, look, deaths are going to happen in a multiplayer shooter. That's like, that's, 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 that, well, like, duh. But the dozens of NPCs, why are they being called a Jani? Is, oh, it's because I'm doing the killing to them. Also, what was that? Oh, that's the, uh, the, the Lalafell group going off. Our forebears fought not so that we could die. I misunderstood this whole time, Chibi. live. So let us honor their sacrifice and spare our children this death sentence. Let us gift them a new legacy. Life. I thought this whole time when you were saying someone's gotten their jarnied, that what you meant was they did a me and they died because I'm bad and I'm dying. So they're getting a jarnied because they're dying because they're bad, like me. I didn't realize you meant they're getting a jarnied because I'm the one killing them. Here or there, it's the same thing. It really isn't. One of them is I'm incompetent, so I'm dying. The other one is I'm incompetent, so I'm killing off things that shouldn't be killed. But there's 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 a the striking difference. <laughs> oh. Exactly, Harris. Betwixt our peoples yawneth a divide deeper than the deepest abyss, wider than the widest sea. Generations will live and die ere this divide is bridged. Knowing this, doth thy heart yet yearn for peace, son of Thordon? Okay, Chibi, I'm gonna have to correct you there. It's not a jarred need. There's no D in a Jani. The, there's no D in a Jani. It's not a jarred need. It's a jar need. You tried. You had one job. You did not need to put the extra D there. The D does not go there. It doesn't fit. It's not. Just get rid of it. Anyway, the act of crossing paths to a Jani leading to the death from outside sources. Yep. I, now that I understand what it's been this whole time, how you've been using it, I approve. Suddenly I approve, in retrospect. It's quote ad. Chippy, it's quote ad. <laughs> oh no. 
I saw you did the message and I was like, you've done it right. And you've swapped out and quote around. The D does not need to go there. I don't get the reference, but like, sure. A yarny. Look now on the legacy we would leave to our children. A dream of peace inscribed in stone for generations to come. It was a minute ago. No, I, the, no, I, okay, let me rephrase. I know what it was about. I don't know why it was quote worthy. How about that? That's what I meant. I didn't actually forget what we were talking about, Harris. <laughs> What is it? Oh, I saw her eyes right go like she would. Vidofni approves. Also, it looks really cool. That is so beautiful. Father and his beloved, as they were so long ago, happy and at peace. The dream they shared shall be ours once more. That art is so cool. I was wondering what it would look like, and I, I approve. I approve. I like Never! it. Ah, uh, fudging who's this? <laughs> Estidian! <gasps> no! It's Nidhogg. I was wondering when it's Stinian as Nidhogg would show up again. Revive spell to bring Vidofnia back, or does it not work on dragons? Hearken unto me, all of you! The final chorus is nigh, and all will be held to account. All will bathe in the flames of retribution. Till the coming of that day, look you on your sins and despair, for none shall escape my wrath. None shall escape my revenge! Why are we letting the villain monologue? Why are we not fighting and attacking him? There are guards around. There have been guards around the whole time. We have weapons. Why are we not shooting? Seven hells. We tried with a bow, that was enough. No! We have magic! And now the penny drops for Alphano. Damn you, Nidhogg. Man, we just had our last peace conference ruined, and now this one's ruined, and now there will be no peace because the dragon was meant to. That worm. <sighs> While he lives, we'll never know peace. Yeah, now he's got both of his eyes. Aye, there'll be no end to this war till Nidhogg is dead and gone. So let's kill the bastard and be done with it. Death to Nidhogg. 
Get the knee dog! Death to Nidhogg! Death to Nidhogg! Oh, we Death came so Nidhogg. far. Death to Nidhogg! Death to Nidhogg! Yeah, I know, but it's it's not great. It's not great. This is the heavens with main menu theme. What's he saying? What did he say? I want to know what he said. And now I won't know. I'll never know. <laughs> it's it yeah it's really not great is it tb it's not great at all there they go the last of the guests having come hither with hope in their hearts they departed with hatred and blood lost until the moment i saw them strike i still held some small hope that what you had seen in azisla was an illusion perhaps but he acted without hesitation as did sir amric no sir amric absolutely hesitated he pulled that bow and he held it for way too long Catering? Don't eat the dragon! For a mercy, Vidofnia's wound was not mortal. Wait, Vidofnia's alive? I thought Vidofnia was dead. Fudging, this game has pulled too many. Oh, you see them basically die, but it's okay. They'll be alive recently. Like the fudging random protester. We saw her get shot with two arrows and then she fell. And then they're like, she'll be okay. She'll survive. And now the Dolphinia fudging gets stabbed and then collapses. Gone. But it's okay. They'll survive. What the fudge is the game doing? Where were the fudging Nanamo? It's okay. She'll survive. Where was the last time someone actually died? When was the last time someone actually died in this game? Oh, Hosha font. <laughs> I, it's fine. I realized what I was saying. It's fine. <laughs> it's been like three streams. <laughs> When was the last time you saw the good guys lose in the movie? Uh, Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> it's, it's the absolute donkey. They, had a whole, they didn't retcon it. They just time traveled and undid history. <laughs> They literally retconned it in the lore of the movie. Star Wars 3 and 5. I think what Mecha is trying to say is when was the last time a movie series ended and the good guys failed? They lost. At the end of a movie series, there was no more. It was just game over. Oh man, I almost dropped a big fudging spoiler for something. Such was surely Nidhogg's intent to deliver a proclamation not only to the children of Thordon, but to his kindred. War is coming, and ye who do not stand with us stand apart. She was an example, a message to her brood, another instrument of his vengeance, like Astinian. That is... No, that's Revenge of the Sith, and... Uh, whatever the fudge the one with Hoth was. Empire Strikes Back. It's Revenge of the Sith and Empire Strikes Back. The dog's battle showed the dragon's life as their eyes. I mean, who died in Empire Strikes Back? The entire Hoth base was lost. There was a fight between Luke and Darth Vader. Uh, Han Solo was fudging carbonated, and uh, they were betrayed on. They were betrayed on Bespin. Han Solo was carbonated. Luke 
chopped off, uh, Darth Vader chopped off Luke's arm and uh, things were not happily ever after. That's what happened in Empire Strikes Back. And of course we all know what happens in 3, Anakin kills an entire Jedi of younglings. Jedi Temple, whatever. Spoilers for Star Wars by the way, in case anyone hasn't seen it yet. Oh hi Peachy. Peachy just laying here. Anakin and Jar need an entire Jedi Temple. You know, you're not wrong. Okay, that's gonna be transmogged immediately. Didn't know Jedi was a grouping term. Yeah. An entire Jedi youngling. You know? Entire Jedi of younglings. I don't see the uh the problem. I level two for okay. So we've got fending, which is for tanks, maiming, which is for melee DPS, striking, which is for wait, range scouting. The fudge is maiming, striking, and scouting. Fudging, don't know. I the, ooh, there's an oh, there's another emote I'm gonna unlock, and I have to go change all my emote setups again. Mamie is Dragoon, Reaper, Striking is Samurai Monk. And then Scouting is what? Ninja? So Maim, Strike, and Scout. This, movies can auto be in America. And Viper, when it comes out, will also be Scouting? Okay. When I said I wish to speak with you after the conference, I confess I envisaged rather happier circumstances. If anything, however, this latest tragedy makes the need more pressing. There are things I must say. Not to the warrior of light or even my fellow scion, but to you, Mimili, my friend. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Alpha no, what drop what bombshell are you gonna drop on me? <clears throat> you hungry for fries? I mean same. The intercessory in Camp Dragon has still open to us, let's get there. I agree. I actually am a huge sucker for sad endings. I'm a big sucker for- sad endings are actually my favorite endings because they actually make me feel something. I don't feel anything when the good guys win. It's like, yay, everyone's happy and there's a big victory and champion, woo. I, I feel nothing. I am dead inside. When the bad guys win and people actually die, I tear up. I live for those moments. I live for that. Maybe that's why I like Final Fantasy so much. He did just watch his friend take an entire dragon side of him and explode in the air. <laughs> also, Harambe. Oh my god. There's so many things going on in my minimap right now because I haven't done any of these quests. And I do not plan on doing them uh, anytime soon. But maybe if I did, I'd know where I'm going. <laughs> Here it is. Rogue One was a good one. Oh, okay. Rogue One was fantastic. Rogue One was good because we knew exactly what was going to happen. Because obviously it's already established. Everyone knows what happens with Rogue One. But it was done in such a beautiful masterpiece of a way. And then Disney went and ruined all the other Star Wars movies. So like... I Oh, I don't like how there's a destination, but there's nothing here. Whoops. It can be. Sad stories are my favorite. I have a real moment of deja vu Forgive right me. now. That took longer than expected. I'm feeling such strong deja vu. You seem puzzled. Oh, these. I thought something warming might not go amiss. It was not all that long ago that we sat here, you and I, in our very own falling snows, as Lord Horshvon called it. Say something real quick. Something real quick. 
I don't get it. I still struggle to believe he is gone. And Azel too. I had such hopes for her. Master Matoya asked me what it was all for. Why we fight. And why we die. Uh, chat, are there audio desyncs for anyone else? Or is Haras just a stinky? <laughs> Were I still commander of the Braves, I would doubtless have replied, for the future of Eorzea. But I'm not. Sorry, Haras, you're stinky. Not anymore. You did specify you because you refreshed answer. stinky. One that I could live with. And when I saw Estinian at the ceremony, I knew at last what it was. Yeah, Afanai? What? I do not want to be a man who sacrifices his friends and family for a cause. I want to fight for Estinian. And I want to save him. Oh. So we, we stab the eyes, right? We, you, there's the eye on his shoulder and on his forearm. We stab those and he's fine, right? You thought I muted myself by accident? How the fudge does that happen? And, and what? And was the game sound fine though? When or was that also out of sync? Into battle, Sir Emmerich and his forces will do what they believe must be done. That is their choice to make. Yet even if Sir Emmerich is willing to forsake Astinian, I am not. We must fight for him, for he is our friend and ally. We may struggle. We may fail, but we must try. In the doorway, Alphina is walking with the mugs. Are we going to drink from those or are we just going to let them get too cold? That's why I had the moment of deja vu. Because Harshafant walked in here with them. To aid those in need. He just said it. I know, but like, I, I didn't process and Lord like... Harshafant would be proud. I knew you would understand. Together, we will surely find a way. It's been... Every time... Every time I drink from a mug, there have been consequences. Every time anyone has, there's just been consequences. Thank you, Mimli. It is unfair of me to unburden myself in this matter time after time, but I'm glad that you permit me nonetheless. You are my true friend and ally. Then not all of our fellow Scions will support our stance on Estinian. I have faith that we will win them over in due course, such as the infectious power of hope. Right, there's quite enough solemn introspection for one day. I think we both benefit from some time in the company of Tataru. She stays for us as Fortom Mana. Let's not keep her waiting any longer. I cannot speak. Ah, oh, fudge, that's the wrong one. I was trying to like work out through the menu which one it would be. And of course I picked the wrong one. Hi, Afanu. Yet again, we walk an all too familiar path. I am reminded when we first came to this manor. Lost and uncertain, we were granted succor in our hour of need. We were saved, and now it is our turn to return the favor. Here, here, let no one say that the Sirens do not repay their debts. After all, what kind of people would we be if we forsook our friends? If we stopped looking for Ida and Papalima, or if we gave up hope of bringing Minfilia back? Though she knew it would cost her dearly, Minfilia reached out to us to deliver a message. She believed it was imperative that we understand the true nature of the star, of the rift between the Zodiac and Hydaelyn, and of the Ashian's aspirations. Before all that has been revealed, I cannot shake the suspicion that there is much we have yet to learn. In any event, I think it's time we step back from the fray and carefully consider our next course of action. It will not be easy to turn this tragedy to triumph, but we will find a way. We will. We will. Yeah, because it was shown to us that they were, like, in that, like, area and, like, the stuff and, like, you know, like... <laughs> I, I know what you mean. I'm just messing around. Maiming is Dragoon. No, striking is... No, striking... Okay. 
Fending is tank. Maiming is Dragoon and Reaper. Striking is Monk and Samurai. And Scouting is uh, Ninja and Viper. I get Battle Stance, which means I'm going to mess with my emotes again. Of all the ways for it to end. Even before his transformation, I could feel the worm's hatred swirling about Estinian. The terrible, all-consuming rage. Oh, we haven't spoken to them at all, have we? Since they are... Uh... Enough to fuel a thousand-year quest for vengeance. It was all I could do not to run away screaming. But Ishgardians... Nay, all Eorzeans are made of sterner stuff. They face danger and death on a daily basis and understand what it takes to win a war. Think not too deeply on Master Matoya's words. Her intent was but to steal our resolve. That, and to remind us to look beyond these passing conflicts to trials greater still to the truth which hides at the heart of this world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree. So that's your aim, is it? Wait, what is? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you disapprove? Not at all. I believe it's traditional for the student to follow in the footsteps of the master. And you are so very alike. It is like I did not approve. It's the warrior of darkness. What do you want? What are you doing? Oh! Thancred's watching. I love how Thancred's watching the warrior who's watching Eden and Papalimo who are like not doing anything, but that's not relevant. change. That great inexorable wave was upon us, and soon all of Ishgard would bend to its will. For oh, all no. our sins, for all our scars, the future for which we had long yearned was at last within our grasp. So true, Chibi. But... It would be bought at a heavy price. You're watching me, watching you, watching Thancred, watching in those twilight me watching hours, Thancred. Did Nidhogg cry out for vengeance, and his brethren raise their voices for the final chorus of the Dragon Song War? I need to watch that clip once this is over. I've got the command ready to go once the cutscene ends. Ah, there they are again. Speaking of Adrian Papalimo. Okay, this is not going to auto go. So let's let's watch this clip. To the truth which hides at the heart of this world. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I agree. So that's your aim, is it? Wait, what is? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you disapprove. I don't get the title. <laughs> I don't understand the title, Mecca. I'm sorry. When you click the accept button, the ends of TS. Right. Okay. I've forgotten yet again that I'm the only one who reads the terms and conditions. <laughs> oh, now that makes so much more sense. Oh my god, okay, no, I get it. I get the joke now. That's funny as fudge. I'm just an absolute idiot. Thank you for the clip, Mecca. I am a fool. You're welcome. <laughs> Caution, Eden, that's all I ask. Do not be so eager to place your faith in them. Not until we know more.
I'm seated so far away from my computer now. I also don't know how much longer I'll be streaming for because it is 8.30 and I do have to go to sleep and get ready for work tomorrow and all that sort of stuff, so... We're here to explain everything to the one or two neurons that are bouncing around up there. Uh, it's one brain cell, I'll have you know, and Kale may also have it or it's on vacation. You can never, we can never know. I've never seen South Park in my life. I'm sorry, is someone picking up an Asian mask? Who was that? Who picked up the mask? Do we know? Achievement unlocked first gear? What is that? Complete the thing. Cool. It's not an Asian mask. Oh. It's a complete set of maiming. Oh. Okay. Right. Yo, though. Let's see how cool this armor looks. Yo! This is such cool armor! That's so cool. I'm placing all these in the armory chest, like, immediately. Is patch take point two, you think? Would make sense. Do you, hmm. So how many patches were there? There was 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4? Or just 3.3? I don't know how many patches are in a normal uh, expansion cycle for Final Fantasy. Oh shoot, it's going to give me aiming, healing, or casting. Well, I think I've already got healing sorted, don't I? Oops. Ah, sort. Summoner, 210. Oh shoot, I've only got two tens. Now I want to take the 240. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be taking the healing. Aside from bug patches and such, five and a half. <laughs> five and a half? <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny to me. Mistress Millie, it is well that you're here. You're wanted within. I believe Master Alphano wishes a word with you. We'll get a little bit of a sneak peek of the next, uh, next quest line. Oh man, that dude taunts me every time. Half oh, a finale, gotcha. Mimili, there you are. Have a moment? There is something I would fain discuss. I'm sorry. There you are. Have you a moment? There is something I would fain discuss. What is that fudging? Okay, whatever. I must ask you to recall the events which unfolded at the peace conference, so I dare say you would sooner forget them. I... My mind returns again and again to the moment when Nidhogg appeared before the crowd in the guise of Astinian. It was a sight to chill the soul, but one which gave me reason to hope our friend might not be beyond salvation. When he described his fateful transformation in a a Azizlar, I feared him lost forever, but the mere fact that some semblance of his former self endures must surely count for something. I have no evidence to support this impression. It's just sort of the vibe, you know? Thus did I tend to Stoller and cry for more empirical appraisal, and full glad that I am that I did, for it would seem they have some observations of their own to share. The ladies have saved us a table at the Forgotten Night. Shall we go? We're going to discuss this in public? That sounds like a dumb idea. Like, actually stupid. Hello! A personal table at the local bar. Yeah, totally not in public around Heimerick and Bamp Concept and Gibralant and Ardelaine and Yolaine. What names? And Adaily and Ansolm and. Okay, Sudoku and Riel are, are there. They're with me. They're cool. They can chill there. But like the others? Not great. Voices? Kept you waiting over long, I fear. I do love how more cutscenes are being voiced now. Not to worry, Alphano. 
We had some rather fine mulled wine to keep us company. Truth be told, you could have delayed your arrival a few moments more. Uh, calm down there, Kryl. Gibrion got the spicing just right this time. His latest batch is not only delicious and warming, but soothing to the humors. You had the same thoughts to do, it could be helpful. I mean, they're chill. They're, they're with me. They're cool. I trust them. Indeed. But it was not to soothe our humors that we gathered here. Oh, no. Quite right. The matter of that poor dragoon. You have discovered something. A means to save him? Well, calm down now. Jump into conclusions. Let us not jump to conclusions, shall we? <laughs> Assess the facts presented, then make an educated analysis, as you were taught. I'm just psychic, okay? Pray, cast your mind back to the moment of Astinian's transformation. Do you recall how you described it to us? Uh, yeah, he, uh, did big boom. You spoke of the sudden pangs which racked his body when he took up both of Nidhogg's eyes. And of how his form was twisted thereafter into a shadowy semblance of the great worm. Correct. When he appeared at Falcon's Nest, the worm's eyes were fused to his mail. So he stabbed the eyes, that's what I'm saying. Would that only his armor had been corrupted. Snaking forth from the eyes, I described dark tendrils which entangled his very being. His ether has been all but smothered. I mean, listen, Harris, it's, look, when you get to be in my position where you've graduated from two degrees and are currently working as a lawyer, sometimes snarkiness is just all you've got, you know? Because she, she be no! No! Then he is lost to us forever? Oh my god, calm down. What did I just say about jumping to conclusions? Ishtola clearly stated all but smothered. Kryl is just sick of Alphano. Like, Alphano, stop jumping around. He's like, he can be saved. He's doomed. He can be saved. He's doomed. He's literally sitting there with like a freaking like flower. <laughs> He's doomed. He's saved. He's doomed. He's saved. As I later discovered, her impression matched my own. Though Nidhogg's presence filled my mind's eye, beneath his seething aura, I sensed the merest hint of something else. And after listening to Yishtola's observations, I became more certain of my suspicion that the something else I had sensed was, in fact, the trace of a different will, submerged in the sea of Nidhogg's rage. You mean? Yes, tis like that Estinian spirit yet lingers. <gasps> Can we not wrest him from Nidhogg's grasp then? Tear the eyes from the armor. Okay, you know, now that the Alphano has said it, I feel like it's not that simple and I'm a fool for even assuming it would be. We know not if that would serve to separate Worm's soul from man's. None have ever attempted such a feat. Chibi, no. Should it offer even the faintest hope of success, then by the gods, I shall be the first to try. Alphano. I was just like, Alpha, no, please stop, you are a fool. By all means, hold fast to your hope, but be mindful of the dangers. Even should you succeed in excising the eyes from the dragoon's mail, we have no way of knowing if your friend's soul would survive so violent a separation. And that is to say nothing of the possibility that his would-be saviour might become Nidhogg's next host. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But what other choice remains to us? Should the opportunity present itself, I will tear those foul orbs from Astinian's armor and trust in the resilience of his soul, even at the risk of mine own. He has been with us since the start of this expansion, Mecca, pretty much. Um, he is the reason we were able to stop the uh, bad guys and bring peace to, the, to, to Ishgard. Also, if you're a Dragoon and you did your Dragoon class story, he was also featured in that as well. So he's sort of a big deal, a little bit. Ah, I found you at last. Honora? We're having a private conversation in this public bar. Thank you very much. 
A messenger of the Temple Knights came to the manor some few hours past. The Lord Commander humbly requests the company of the Warrior of Light and Master Alphano. Suspicious? Sir Emmerich would speak with us. Very well, thank you, Anawa. It would seem duty calls. Pray see to yours, and we shall return to ours. Thank you, Yishtola, Kryl. Your words have given me hope where there was none. Come then, Sir Emmerich awaits. <laughs> but your grace, Emmerich requested to speak of important matters in private at the local theatre. <laughs> Yes. Alphano is allowing his feelings for this dragoon to cloud his thoughts. I worry he may do something rash. Keep an eye on him, would you? Chibi? I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna question it. I'm gonna question it. That's Midgard Sama. And on that note, time to end the stream. <laughs> I will leave you with the parting words of Midgard Sorma. Never mind, no, I won't, because the cutscene's not over. I'm sorry. The conference held at Falcon's Nest was to be a celebration of the reconciliation twixt man and dragon. But the lingering shade of Nidhogg, clad in the flesh of the Azure Dragoon, did mark the occasion by spilling the blood of his own kind. It's A okay, though. The Daphne survived. To remind the children of Ishgard that the Dragonsong War was far from over. And when fear Shut the gave fudge way up. to fury, the call to arms rang out anew. Death to Nidhogg. Death to Nidhogg. Leave me alone, Chibi. Oh my god, the fudging chat here. Accepted. Left the sanctuary. Fulfilled. Enter the sanctuary. Left the sanctuary. Enter the sanctuary. Match is allowed. Fulfilled. Match is not allowed. Dissolve the party. Wait, dissolve the party! <laughs> um. See you on Aubrey. You know, that's exactly what I'm going to do, is I'm going to log off this character, end the stream, go get something to eat and drink, and then log back on to fudging my other character. Like, you're calling me out, Horace, but that's what's going to happen. Um... Until then, though... I'm just trying to think, is there anything I need to do with this character? Oh, there is actually something I need to do. I need to do my daily, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. gold saucer. I need to do my daily gambling, you know, chat. Oh, there's a leap of faith as well. You know what? I take it back. We're doing the leap of faith first. I said I was going to end the stream, but we're doing Leap of Faith. I fudging love Leap of Faith. It's also so very quiet on this server. Are we because everyone's already done it? Uh, every 20 minutes. Actually, because I know this is going to mess me up. I hate these fudging jumps. Is there something over there? No, probably not.
I'm surprised that there are other players here at all. And they're all stuck on the one location. That's so funny. Although I better not jinx myself with that. Oh, fudge. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a little fall. Oh, but you gotta jump this way. Oh no, that's dangerous. Oh no, I think I just saw someone fall all the way. Oh no, I didn't. I'm making- What? Oh, I bumped the fudging wall. Are you kidding? Aubrey, are you there? No, Harris. I'm doing the leap of faith on Nemoly. Which, to be honest, I probably could have logged- No, I wouldn't have been able to log off and I'm fast enough to get it on Aubrey. Oh, I almost bumped the wall again. Has the beans, it has getting over with me. This has been around for longer than getting over it. I think. When did Leap of Faith first get introduced? Surely, oh my God, I thought I fell. Also, this isn't an event. This is just part of the actual game. Actually, maybe not. When did Leap of Faith get introduced? Do I risk it for the biscuit? The answer is always yes. I should have gotten the exit first, but that's okay. Woo, 4,000 MGP, I'm not gonna do anything with. Actually, how much MGP do I have? 272,000. It's gonna take a long, long time to get anything good. Before I forget, I need to sell this card. Because it's been in my inventory for god knows how long. Okay, friends. Where the fudge are the 1, 2, 3? 18th of September 2018. Leave of Faith first. December 6th getting over it. Dang. Getting over it is older than Leap of Faith. That's crazy. But to be fair, parkour challenges have been in this game since way longer anyway. Where the fudge are all my 1-2-3s? Give me a 1-2-3. I should have picked that. Fudge! It's fine. Okay. Uh, playtime's over, friends. <laughs> Hold on, what do I need to... This is back in... This is foundation. Thanks for streaming. Thank you for being here, everyone. I appreciate all of you for hanging out, for, for chatting, for, for... I was gonna say for streaming. You guys did do a single fudging stream. How dare you? <laughs> um, we're gonna go see... Oh, I should not leave the game. That is silly. We're just gonna leave you on this lovely view right here as I find someone to raid and see who's live and if no one's live then we blame it on Pocky this time because I'm not above that. Pocky it's your fault. <laughs> um, Fudge there actually is no one that I feel like raiding at the moment. That's really unfortunate because I didn't want to have to blame it on Pocky. Hmm. Leave of Faith was introduced in Stormblood. You would have thought it was Shadowbringers. You... You're looking at the wrong person. I don't have a fudging clue. <laughs> um... You know what, actually? We're going to raid a fellow Australian streamer who we have met at a previous uh, Twitch meetup. 
We're going to say hi to Pro Blues, Pro Blues player fudging. I cannot pronounce words. Um, we met them at a, at a fellow Australian Twitch meetup thing. So we're going to go give them some love and support and all that sort of stuff. Top messages for subs, bottom messages for non-subs. Go send your relevant sub. Uh, the, 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 the things over on that side of the screen or that side if you're looking at chat. I don't fudging know. Guess I had to him. He's doing just chatting, but he's talking about the Nintendo Direct and stuff, which I have not seen myself. But if you guys are interested in the Nintendo Direct and want to talk about it with chat and discuss and stuff, then uh, yeah, go do that. Go say hi to Pro Blues Play. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, but until the next stream, until tomorrow when I stream again, have yourselves a fantastic time, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate all of you, you guys. Make my day. So yeah. Um, if the raid doesn't go well, blame it on Pocky. That is all. Okay, thanks. Bye!